Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, we got a Christmas movie to watch. So let's go to the Christmas advent calendar and find out what we're watching. December 4th, what are we watching? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Family Man. Family Man, we were all right. About it just last night. Yeah, I just mentioned this in yesterday's video. Very cool. I like that movie a lot. We watch this one probably every year. I think it's been in our calendar every year since we've started the Christmas Advent Calendar, movie Advent Calendar. And, uh, you know, I think I'm officially now, I don't know, I remember looking this up either last year or two years ago. I think I'm older than Nicolas Cage is uh, than when he uh, made the movie. So when I'm looking at him, I'm seeing no longer somebody who's older than me, I'm looking at somebody who is younger than me, and that's very weird. That is very strange. That is probably one of the weirdest parts about getting older. All of these people that are like your mom and dad's age, and they've you've always looked at them as, as grown-ups and adults. But then, in their movies, you keep continuing to watch, and then one day, when you watch them, you're the same age as that person. And then, you become older than them. It is odd. It is very strange. Uh, but yeah, I really love this movie. Uh, Danny Elfman does the score, and it is great. It's, it's like haunting, but the movie itself isn't very haunting. I guess it kind of is, because it's it's kind of like a It's a Wonderful Life sort of story in a way. So, you know, that has some ghostly, supernatural type stuff, angel-y type things happening in here. Don Cheadle being the angel here. Um, so I guess that's fitting, but I don't know. I feel like it, it creates an interesting contrast because the rest of the movie doesn't feel like something Danny Elfman would score in his sort of spooky style. Um, but it, it works here. Uh, it just has that Christmassy vibe, I guess, you know, his, his spookiness sort of lends itself to Christmas. Uh, maybe that all started with Batman Returns. I don't know. Like, why, why do we? Do that did he also do uh, I can never remember did he do um, Scrooged score because that one kind of has a, a similar haunting haunting haunted quality to it um, oh here's a funny thing yesterday we watched what happens later with David Duchovny and then today we're watching uh, um, uh, the family man with Taya Leone they used to be married and that's just serendipitous, I guess. It's kind of funny that uh, their movies were back to back. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I really like this movie. We, we watch it all the time. It's it's great. Um, I, I, Nicolas Cage is, is very reined in in this. It's one of his most reined in characters I feel like we ever watch him ever do in anything. Uh, I mean, there are some very Nicolas Cage parts in there when he says some sort of a... Christmas joke, that part, and when he goes ba 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 da, like when he does that air guitar moment, like I can just kind of tell that was a Nicolas Cage choice, sort of like drinking jelly beans out of a martini glass when he is Ghost Rider, like that just feels like something Nicolas Cage was like, I feel like I gotta do this, talking to the director, this is something I gotta do. I gotta do it, and the director's like, all right, you're Nicolas Cage, here we go. You always hear that story of when he was making Raising Arizona, because he's he sees himself as an artist, which he is, um, but likes to test things out. And the Coen brothers uh, were making Raising Arizona, and they were like, um, could you do it our way? <laughs> and he's like, well, you know, we gotta do it this way. And they're like, okay, okay, yeah. So here's what we'll do, we'll do it your way, and then, or no, do it our way. I think I think it was like this, do it our way, and then we'll do it your way. And then that way we can have both. And then they just never used his way when they made that movie. Uh, so that's funny. Anyway, yeah, very good. Um, it's kind of, it's a wonderful lifey. So if you like that, I think you'll like this. Mr. Destiny, if you've ever seen that with Belushi and Michael Kite. And, uh, I don't know, you know, movies like that. Anyway, uh, we have to get to the other advent calendars, so let's see what we picked up this morning uh, in terms of the, the candy-filled advent calendars for the kids and then the cheese advent calendar for me. What's in there? Reese's Pieces. Yummy. I don't know what I'm 
and what do we got in here? Looks like you got a sleigh with some, what is that, a tree in the background and a package on top, or a sled. Cool. All right, now you're doing the winter scene and you are doing the elf on the shelf. What's inside? Yeah. Okay, so what did you get in here? I? Are you able to pull that out? No. I will. A stocking. Very cute. No, no, it's not. Yeah, so you got the sleigh. Awesome. How's that stocking taste? Good. All right, number four for Reese's for you. Which one are you doing? Elf on the shelf? Did you get the stocking too? You did. And what's in yours? Yummy Reese's pieces. The kids are asleep so they don't get to do this with me, but we have to do the, the cheese advent. So let's go do that now. All right, where is that number four? 14, four, 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 four. Here we go, all right. Let's dig in. Kind of ripped into this one a little bit already when I was trying to get into two. My goodness, I'm tearing into this like an animal. Ooh, looks a little peppered. We already had a peppered one though. This looks maybe more spicy. Oh, okay. Spiced apple. Ooh, I don't know about that one. That doesn't sound good to me. Let's try it. Here, let's look at the other side. Yeah, look at those spices in there. So yeah, I'm questioning this one. I went ahead and cut the cheese so the kids could try some in the morning, but this will be my slice right here. So spiced apple, I don't know, like spice as in hot? Like spi hot spicy or like, you know, mole mulling spice. Ooh. I think that tastes or smells hot, hot spicy. So it's like hot apple. It was very sweet. Hmm. Hmm. Cheddar-y. Did it say it was cheddar? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like this one very much. Just like a couple bites. Maybe as a slice on some sort of sandwich. I don't know what. Maybe ham. Ham, apple... Yeah, actually, I think I, that's how I could picture I can picture this more on a sandwich or a burger than on its own. I guess maybe too potent on its own, which is weird for me to say because I love too much flavor. I always say, give me what will kill me and then back it off a little bit. I got that from Jerry Seinfeld. If I get a bean burrito at Taco Bell, add extra onions. No, extra, extra onions. No, 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 no. I want you to give me the amount that will kill me and then just back it off a little bit. That's what I want on my bean burrito. So yeah, um, it was, it's, it's high flavor to where I think I want it with other flavors to sort of cut it. So I want it on a sandwich, but still it's odd, but I like it. I like it, but I need it with something else. All right, thank you so much for talking the family man with me and also checking out all of those advent calendars full of chocolates and Reese's and cheeses. It's very much appreciated that you spent your time here with me getting some of that pure hangout in. Thank you so much for watching and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout.